everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching. Hi, my name is Leslie and today is going to be a come shopping with me vlog. I went to Saint Laurent to take a look at a couple of their handbags and I also browsed around the Chloe section, took a look at a couple of Fendi items, Dior, so yeah, basically a good mix. And to round up the video, I also went to a local vintage and pre-love boutique here in Hamburg, but they do have an online presence, so I bet it will be not just relevant for my local people, but anyone who's interested in pre-loved and getting a good deal on designer items. So yeah, let's go. So the first stop was Saint Laurent and I don't know if it's just me, let me know if you can relate. For me personally, Saint Laurent up until like maybe a year or so ago hasn't really been a brand that's been that much on my radar in terms of handbags, although of course they are super popular and they have a lot of iconic designs. For some reason I've never really paid that much attention to Saint Laurent, but I guess in light of the numerous price increases when it comes to Chanel for example, I've definitely paid more attention to the brand and I'm not mad about it at all. I did try on the puffer bag for example and both in the boucle tweed kind of fabric but also obviously in leather. For some reason the bag really speaks to me but even more so the toy Lulu. I know that's a super iconic and classic and well-loved and recognized bag but as I said for some reason I've never really paid attention to Saint Laurent. I don't know why. But yeah, both in this like creamy color, but also in the burgundy, which I'm gonna show you yeah, in a couple of seconds, basically. The bag is really beautiful. The interior has like this kind of compartmentalization, which of course takes away room for bulkier items, but still you can for sure fit in your essentials. So yeah, both the puffer as well as the toy Lulu have definitely been put on my radar. The SA told me that um, as of November 2021, there will be a price increase on certain items. She wasn't able to tell or she didn't know yet which items were affected. By the time I'm uploading this video, I guess the price increase will have already happened because it's like almost mid-November already. But still, of course, a fraction of the price of a Chanel bag, for example, that's comparable in size. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby And yeah, what can I say? For some weird reason, I always tend to find myself gravitating back to the Chloe test bag. I've literally lost count of the amount of times that I've had that bag in multiple different sizes, colors, you name it, in my hand. But for some reason, I haven't been able to pull the trigger. Plus, I talked to someone on Instagram and she said that she bought the bag twice and always ended up either selling it or returning it. So I either have to try it out for myself and see if it works for me or yeah, basically finally decide to not get the bag and try to forget about it, but anyway.
and then something really weird happened because I for some reason found myself trying on designer shoes and if you've watched some of my older videos you will know that I'm not a fan of spending luxury money on shoes in particular not on yeah basically winter boots. Chloe currently has a collaboration with Moon Boots and then I also tried on a pair of Dior boots. Those were like insanely expensive more than 1k. The Chloe Moon Boots ones yeah they were smaller in size and also I think like half the price of the Dior ones but still incredibly expensive but I don't know I kind of like the idea of them so I tried on the normal moon boots they are only like 115 euros and <laughs> call me crazy um, but I kind of like the look of them maybe because of the way that they make my legs look given the chunkiness of the boots so yeah I definitely had a lot of fun trying on the expensive ass shoes but Rest assured, I'm not gonna be purchasing luxury shoes anytime soon because I just can't bring myself to spend more than 200 euros for a pair of shoes and 200 is already pushing it, but they looked fun. Um, yeah, who knows, maybe a pair of regular moon boots will make its way into my wardrobe. Not that I particularly had a use for it because it doesn't really snow anymore in Germany, at least in the part of Germany where I live, but I don't know, they kind of looked fun. And as I mentioned, my last stop was a pre-loved and vintage boutique that's local to me, but again, they have an online presence. They're also pretty big on Instagram, so I'm gonna leave their handle on the screen and all the details will be in the description box. They are called Luxus Sachen, which basically translates to luxury items, which is perfectly fitting. They always have a huge selection and their stock changes regularly. So it's always fun to look at their new stock. And I spied a Chanel reissue in kind of a metallic red color. I'm neither that much of a fan of the reissue nor am I a fan of metallics, but for some reason that bag really spoke to me. And 3.3K for a reissue is kind of a good deal, I guess. I mean, it does say on the tag that there is supposed to be a dark patch discoloration somewhere, but still 3,300 euros seems quite reasonable in my opinion. And yeah, that already does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I really enjoy filming Come Shopping With Me vlogs. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with a couple of clips from our afternoon stroll after we were done walking around the city. The nice part of autumn or fall. So yeah, basically the part of autumn where it's not constantly raining is one of my favorite seasons. and. I love the yeah, fall and autumn colors and the leaves turning brown and all sorts of kind of yellow and orange shades. Yeah, so beautiful. So I hope you appreciate some nature footage basically. Anyway, thanks so much for watching again and until next time. Bye.